Hello there YouTube people, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the X sheet. Yes, the X sheet is your friend and I'm going to prove it to you because it's not scary as you might think. I see lots of confusion, you keep asking me in my other tutorials in the comments how to do this, how to do that and it will be the best to show you the basics of the X sheet. So let's begin. The first thing to understand is that a column is like a layer in Photoshop or a layer in Flash. It holds all the frames. So, for example, this column number one, this one, holds frame number one, two, three, four, and so on. This is column number two, and three, and so on. Now, how do you create a new column? Let's say we want a new one. You click here or here, but I want column number four to be the next. And we have no frames, so we need to create one. You click on the frame you want, number one, and you draw something. Now you can see we have a frame in column number four. If you want to delete a column, it's very simple. All you need to do is to select it with the left mouse button, like you select anything in the software, and then you hit the delete key on the keyboard. Let me undo this with Ctrl Z. The other option is to select it and right click on the mouse and then delete. Let's say we want to hide the column. We don't want to get rid of it. We don't want to delete it just to hide it so we can keep working. Or maybe the director said, hey, I don't want this one to be in the scene. Can you show me how it will look without it? Now, this is very easy. All you need to do is to click here. Now, check this out. I'm going to click this place and nothing happens. I'm going to click, nothing happens. Why? Because it will show or hide the visibility of the column only on the render. And how can we see the changes? All we need to do is to turn on the preview. Okay? Now, when the preview is on, it will show us how it will look on the final render. So, if we click again on this yellow area here, it will hide the element we don't want. Okay? We didn't delete it, it's still here, and we can turn it on and off. Before I show you how to change the order of the columns, I want you to remember and use this tip. Give every single column a name. It doesn't have to be a unique name, just give them names. I don't care what name, give them names. How do we do it? Let me show you. Double click on the name of the column and give them name. Now, if you notice, after I clicked enter, it's not yellow anymore. I don't know why it's like that, but just click again to turn it on, okay? Double click, name, turn it on, double click, and again, okay? I don't need the preview now. So, now every single column has a name. The columns ordered like this. The most left column will be on the back and the most right column will be on the front. So you need to remember from left to right. Left is the back and the most right is the front. Okay? Now if you want to change the order of the columns, all you need to do is to select one and you can see every single column have this stripe, yellow stripe. So if you select it and drag from the yellow stripe, you can move it, drag and move. You can even move it to other columns. Okay, now let's say that column number two is holding an animation of dust or maybe a ghost and we need to change the transparency. How can we do it? Again, it's very simple. All you need to do is to click on this orange part here, click and hold, and you get this. Now, click and drag as much as you want, and voila, we have a ghost. Again, click and hold, and you can change it. Now it's not a ghost anymore. Now let me try to explain how the frames works in the X sheet. People are still confused about the naming and the numbers, and they don't know what's going on. So let's keep it simple because it is very simple, okay? Now, let's select the place we want to create the frame. Let's say this place in 
column number 4 and recreated the frame. OpenToons gave it a name and a number, K1. Okay? Now, the numbers here are the numbers of the overall project in the timeline, from 1 to whatever you want. Okay? The number next to a frame is more unique because it's the number of a sequence. Let me show you. If we continue to draw another frame and another one, you don't see more letters or names, you just see more numbers because this is a sequence. Now let's make a new frame over here in the same column but not in a row, in here. Now OpenToons gave it a new name, L, and a new number because it's a new sequence. In the same column, a new sequence, okay? If you continue, you get the same idea. So far, so good. Now, let's say we want to move all the sequence or just one frame. How can we do it? You click and drag, and now if you want to move it, you see this line like we saw in here, the same here. We can just move it to wherever we want. The same with one frame. You can just select and on the left line here, drag and move it. You can select, move here. Very simple. Let's say that we want to hold frame number three. You see this holder? Click and drag it. That means that number three will continue until here. If we draw a new frame here, it will create number four. Now let's make number four longer. These are the basics of the frames. You don't need to know more about it. There is more about it, but don't get lost in too much information for now. This is all you need to know. Now that your animation is finished, you want to play and see what's going on. So you're going to here and click, but nothing happens because these markers are showing the animation from one to one. If you click and drag the marker, let's say until here, it will play from 1 to 24. Now let's try. Play. We can even loop. And you can see it will play in between the markers only. If you want to test a specific section of your animation, let's say from here to here, it will show only what's in between the markers. Sometimes you're working with a team and you want to leave a note or a memo inside the program so they'll know what you want them to do, okay? Let me show you an example right here. Double click on it and you can see a memo. Dear animator, please animate a cool explosion from frame number 25. Thanks! Okay, so you can drag and move it wherever you want. It's nice. You can move it wherever you want inside the X sheet because it's a part of the exit. How to create one? Very simple. Click on this paper plus thingy and now you can hello world. To change the font or the size and color you double click and you get this arrow. Click on it and you have fonts, size, color, whatever you want. Change it as you wish. And click post. Now you have a new one, move it wherever you want and if you double click you can see it. To delete one just click discard. Nice! I believe that now you know a little bit more about the exit and you don't need to be confused and you see how simple it is and it's not that scary. Right? Right! In the meanwhile See you later, alligator boy.